How did you decide to carry one? It can take a while, and it should take a while, a time of prayer and the realization of the seriousness and responsibility of carrying that canoe for the people. Before you even know it's time, or a medicine person might tell you they think you are ready. You are being called to carry one. My mentor, Buck Ghost Horse, told me when he thought I was ready, and later at meeting he handed me my ladle and said, It is time for you to learn to pour lodges for the people. The teachings are what tie you to humility. A kanunpa is always carried for the people, and all kanunpas are connected to the original from White Buffalo Calf Woman. While you can have a sweat lodge without a chanupa, it figures in all the other ceremonies. A man or woman can carry a kanunpa, it doesn't matter, as long as they have received the teachings. Are any of the teachings written, or are they all oral, I ask? Grandpa Wallace's book is in English, and there are several Lakota English dictionaries. But everything we learn is handed down, teacher to student. And it is important to remember that each teacher is still just a person, and their personal difficulties and mistakes don't negate the teaching itself. The Chinumpa has a set of seven teachings that go with it. Maybe it makes it easier for you to think of them as similar to the Ten Commandments, except that they are not, shall nots. They are all important pieces to remember in order to use the Chinupa responsibly. They are Wichazani, health, Iwichachaga, generations, Inilla, quietness, Okia, help, Ahokipa, respect, honor, Wiyuskin, happiness, Wenape, Ichagai, and Yuha. The last three are all parts of the one, the great spirit that gives us its power.